Hi guys, this is Adrian Green, Realtor with Samson Properties, and today I'm here with my husband Harley Green, and he's going to talk about the Nest thermostats that he researched and installed here in our house. Now before we get started, I do want to remind you that I do these videos just because I love educating people about anything related to their home, and all I ask for in return is that you like and subscribe the videos. So please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll let Harley take it away and tell us about why he... Uh, or how he talked me into uh, to getting these Nest thermostats here in the house. So uh, it all started when we bought our beach house because we needed a way to kind of remotely manage the house and the smart thermostat seemed like the way to go. Um, and the first time we went down to our beach house, I went ahead and installed the Nest thermostat. We didn't have any in our home, our personal residence at the time. And after having it at our beach house, I liked it so much that I convinced Adrian to install two of them here in our primary residence. Mm -hmm. So um, the first, one of the main reasons I like the, thermos, the Nest thermostat is its ability to have remote control. Um, this is not Nest specific, but just smart thermostat in general. Uh, for vacation properties like our beach house, it's critical. So when guests leave, I can automatically go in and uh, adjust the setting down to a reasonable temperature level. Um, another thing I really like is the ability to lock the temperature. So you may not use this necessarily in your primary residence unless you have children who like messing with it, but you can adjust uh, min and max ranges to adjust the thermostat. This is great for vacation rentals so you don't have guests coming in there and cranking the AC down to 50 degrees when it's 90 degrees outside and have all the doors open type of thing. Well, I think even in people's primary residences, I've heard people complain about, you know, their kids who want to mess with things or want it hotter than they prefer. And so, uh, so I think that even in people's homes, they would like the opportunity to not let everybody who has access to the thermostat control the temperature. For sure. Um, another feature that they have that's nice with the smart thermostats is the ability to learn the temperature ranges that you like. The first week or so that you have it installed, you can uh, adjust the temperature either from your phone, you have a little app here where you can adjust everything, or directly from the Nest itself. And it's very easy to use. You just spin the dial here and it automatically starts doing what it needs to do. Um, the, the thermostat, it learns the temperatures you like and the times you adjust it. So after about a week, it automatically will set those temperatures to what you had used at that time in that day. Uh, it's a lot simpler than doing the programmable thermostats where you had to go on like Monday, 8 a.m., Monday, 7 p.m., and do all this. It's uh, a lot simpler. It learns. You always have the option to go and override those settings and remove them. For us at our home, in the winter, we have a heat pump. It does not do well with varying temperatures. Right. So we typically just keep it locked in at about 67 degrees. We run our fires. Um, we found that trying to have it go down to like 65 when we're not home and then come back, trying to just run the heat pump without the auxiliary heat, which costs a lot more to run, uh, it was not efficient when it gets down below freezing with the heat pump. So that's something to keep right. in mind. Yeah, heat pumps are made to stay at about the same temperature in the house all the time. That's how they run best. So um, keep that in mind if you have a heat pump that you don't want to have these wide variations in temperatures throughout the day. Yeah, another thing I really liked with the Nest was the ease of installation. I am not a mechanically inclined person. I, I like computers, but not the mechanical side of things. Uh, the Nest made it really simple to install. The instructions were very clear. Uh, the wiring system they have for hooking everything up made it really easy. In fact, you can just pop the face off it and you can see all the wiring right there. It has nice little push buttons so you can just slide the wires in. It's all color coded. Um, it even has a little level. You probably can't see it in the video, but you can have it has a built-in level so you know that everything is lined up perfectly when you install it. I think when he installed the first one in the beach house, he made a joke about how the nest was totally designed for millennials who do not have necessarily home improvement skills. And we're not saying this is a judgment at all. Um, that might apply more than Harley would like to admit, but uh, they really made it pretty foolproof with things like the little level that he mentions. There, there was one gotcha in the install for our beach house. The wiring of the original thermostat was such that the letters that lined up for the wires were for a different type of system than the system actually was. There's like the heat pump and then air conditioning systems and we have a heat pump in the beach house. But the original installer had the wires in the slots as if it was an air conditioning system. So when I you know, followed the Nest instructions and labeled oh, yeah. everything the way it was before and plugged it in, we turn the AC on because we're there in the summer and the heat turns on and <laughs> yeah, it's very and so uncomfortable. You have this super pregnant lady in Myrtle Beach and we can't get the air conditioning running in the house. I was not happy, but he figured it out pretty quickly yeah. and it wasn't a problem with the nest. It was a problem with the original installation wasn't what it should have been. They had kind of done a workaround prior um, on the old thermostat to be clear. 
Thank you, YouTube, for finding a solution to that one. <laughs> yes, yes, YouTube for the win. Yeah. So you've told us a lot of positives of having this nest. Now, are there anything, any cons, anything you don't like about it that people should be aware of? So the, the one negative, and it's not really bad with the nest necessarily. Um, it, this is probably specific to nest, not smart thermostats in general. Uh, one thing that we found this time of year with our beach house is that the temperature during the day can be up to the level where guests sometimes will actually want to cool the house. But then at night, of course, it's cooling off and the guests want to heat the house. Uh, the nest has different modes and it has like a heating mode, air conditioning mode. It has a dual mode where it can you can set two temperatures where there's thresholds. If it gets above a certain temperature, it'll start cooling. If it gets below a certain temperature, it'll start heating. The limitation that I find that I did not like with that mode is that it doesn't give guests the option to adjust it without unlocking the system. And so it, once the system's unlocked, they, they can change the Wi-Fi, they can change the account that it's associated with. So I leave the system locked all the time. So it, in heat, or if it's just heat or just cool, you can have the system locked to a certain range. But when you have that dual option where it can heat or cool, you are not allowed to lock that thermostat. And since it's a well, it's, it's locked to the specific right. threshold, you can't adjust the thresholds. And then, um, so it gives the person who's at the thermostat less control, um, unless you take away the fact that the thermostat is totally locked down and then they can change everything, which is insecure in a rental situation. Yeah. So, all right. Well, so that's something to keep in mind if you're going to use it in a, in a rental house type situation. But other than that, it seems like at least for primary residences, you love it all. Yeah, it's been great. I love the reminders. It tells me exactly when to change the air filters. Uh, if it's too hot, I don't have to get up. I can just go on my phone and change the temperature. So I highly recommend them. <laughs> great. Well, thanks again, Harley, for talking to us about the Nest uh, and bringing your expertise in here because it's definitely not something that I deal with every day. And again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if this is helpful to you, please just like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day.